Uh, hello, this is David Birch at Star Path School of Navigation with a follow-up note on setting a cell phone barometer uh, to the right uh, pressure sensor offset so that it reads a correct pressure. And we have an example online that, uh, that you might look at. This is going to be an example for some random place in Europe. And then, uh, but if you look at the U.S. example, there's also a video. I'll put a link to it in the description. That's a way. So here now, I'm just going to assume, uh, let's assume that I'm, now this la longitude is wrong here, right? I'm going to assume I'm standing in the Eiffel Tower, say, in Paris. And uh, that's uh, whatever that is. We're going to find that out. Uh, and I'm standing at the Eiffel Tower or my home in Germany or wherever it is and I read the pressure and then my real latitude and longitude will show up here and the real date. So what I'm after is uh, putting in the sensor offset, finding out what the sensor offset is. The sensor offset is going to be a permanent number even if I later have to change elevations to go to some different place like I live, a, live at 300 feet or 100 meters or something and I, I can set this sensor offset at 100 meters uh, elevation but once I know this sensor offset it doesn't matter I'm going to get the proper sea level pressure as long as I then go and turn and put in the right uh, station the elevation of the phone at the time so let's do this exercise and I ca we can go to like Google Earth online Google Earth online and um, so Google Earth Online, and uh, then uh, we'll search, search, and we'll go to Tour Eiffel, Eiffel Tower, uh, Eiffel Tower. That's the right one, I think. Let's see. Yes, good. All right, so let's assume, here's the Eiffel Tower. Let's assume we're standing right next to, let me move this phone a little bit, over here, or no, over here. Let's assume we're standing right here. So you put your mouse here, your cursor here, and down here you'll read the latitude and longitude. Now look, this is in decimal degrees. You have to go up here, go to here, go to settings, go to format see here you have a choice uh, degrees minutes and seconds they don't really give us a one mariners want which degrees minutes and decimal minutes we don't get that so let's choose decimal and that's okay cancel okay save uh, now so we're standing here and then this down here will be the latitude and longitude and the other number we need so so this is the latitude and longitude. I'm just going to write that down, 48.85. Uh, uh, let's see, right here, 8579. 8579. And then the longitude is 2.2950. And remember, in this convention, uh, uh, eastern longitudes are plus, and... Um, Northern latitudes are plus. So I know that, but now the main thing I need to know if I'm standing here when I want to choose to set my sensor. Now remember, I'm setting, I can set my sensor anywhere. I can go up the top of that tower and set my sensor. As long as I know the elevation, I can set the sensor. I need two things. I need to know the elevation and I need to know the pressure at that location. And uh, so we're doing that now um, uh, that way. So uh, I've got my elevation. What was my elevation? Uh, 32 meters. So 32 meters, that's my elevation. Now I'm holding this in my hand like one meter above the ground, right? So I'm one meter above the ground. So the, uh, the, these, all these apps and services are going to tell us the elevation of the ground. We need to know how high the barometer is above the ground. So if I'm up on the second floor of a building or the third floor, then I have to count that. This will t If I'm up on a hill on a mountain or something, this, this Google Earth or some similar one will tell me the elevation, but it, won't, it has no way of knowing how high I am above that ground. I have to tell it. So I'm 32 plus 1, I'm 33 meters. So I'm 33 meters. So I can, that's the main thing. That's the first thing I need to know. Let me just see if I can control this. So I go in here and set the settings. 
go into the settings and go up to my elevation and set that to 33 meters. Done. And this is an iterative process. You'll do it once or twice and you'll have a different pressure and you'll do it again. And But it's, the number is not going to, it's going to bounce around a little bit, but it's not going to bounce around much. And so you're going to home in on the exact sensor setting that you need and then that will last you forever no matter um, no matter where you are. So now I need to know the right pressure here. And again, let's just, we're just taking some shortcuts here. So let's take another shortcut, W-I-N-D-Y. Just go to windy, windy.com, and then go up here in the corner and put in our location, which is 48.8579, comma, comma, space, 2.8, 2950. Now, if you were in a western longitude, the other side of the meridian there, then that would have to go in as minus. So these are plus that way. And then what do we do? Say enter. Bang, what's it going to do? Okay, look, that's not. We're close. So what it did, let me just show what this is doing. This is not a, this is a model, but this, look, this is a European community, medium range medium range weather forecast I guess that stands for but this ECMWF that's a pretty good model and so it'll put it at the right time 3 a.m. Uh, UTC so right this minute it's actually not that it's a little bit earlier than that it's like one o'clock right now so there so now that's in knots, but I've got to, you, you may have to just adjust this over here a little bit. Let's go push the pressure button. Um, there we go. Okay, it's 10, 12. Now I'd be happier if we had that to a full decibel. And there's other ways you'll see, and you can use airports, nearby airports, and uh, so forth to get a better pressure. But for now, let's just say it's 10, 12.0 at the same time. So that's, then you would just come over here to the phone and uh, put in uh, 10, 12. Now, this is not realistic. Again, keep in mind, this is not realistic. These, none of these sensors will be off this much. But I would just go in here till I, oh, 10, 12.0, that's not that much. 10, 12.0. 10, 12.0, that's only 0.1. Ha, my bra turns out my phone is just about perfect for working in Paris. But, um, so that's it. And then what you would do that you've got your now you can go back and push the this button to show the display. Oh, that's a little bit small. Let me bring this up. So I uh, I was here on the settings, on the settings, and then I just pushed these buttons until I got 10, 12.0 to match the this pressure, and then I went back to millibars. And then I do that. Then what you want to do is save it. Hit save. And then you can go back here and look at your saved pressures. And there will be the one that you entered. And it's a record of when you set the sensor. And it's also a record of the pressure. So that's the, uh, that's the process. It's that simple. You can get it better. We can find that pressure accurate to a tenth and there are different ways. There are airports here we can triangulate on. And we have a service that does that. But it's a little bit longer to go into right this minute. But that's then got that thing homed in pretty well to be working right. Uh, and you should, you would find, you will find that with almost all phones, this won't be off more than two millibars. So we're, we're really homing in on, you know, is the correction like in this accidental, totally accidental case 0.1, or is it 2.1? Uh, but that, we want to know that, we want to know the pressure accurate to a few tenths for a good, uh, effective marine weather work. And we have various uh, document, books and articles that explain why we want to know it that accurately. And I'll stop there.